All right, in this video, we're going to explore some more photo manipulation, um, bringing animals together, multiple uh, photos of animals together to make an animal morph project. Um, really, there's a lot of directions you can go, and depending on the images you have, the tools you may use would be different. Um, so I'm just going to try to showcase as many tools as I can that might be useful for you all, and uh, hopefully you find something useful in this, this shotgun of techniques that I'm about to teach you um, to use on an animal morph project of your own. So I'm starting off here. I, I brought a bunch of images uh, of these an various animals off of uh, uh, Pixabay into into uh, into Photoshop and arrange them as layers. I'm gonna go ahead and put these all in a group that I'm not using for, or at least right now, I don't plan to use in this first first um, demo. Actually, I do plan to use that pair, but we'll get back to that. So I'm gonna just put them so I can ha have more real estate on my layers here um, for you guys to see. Um, so I just put them in there, I'm gonna hide that. I'll come back to that. So my plan here, and again, I'm doing this first time so this may fail and that would be fine and like I said I'll, I'll try to step through that and, and resolve those things is I'm gonna do this crab parrot thing here and I'm gonna use this picture of this crab here as my primary image um, to use as my base um, so that I'm not I don't I plan on keeping all this 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 because I like to what they do with the depth of field on this photograph depth of field is where it's blurry at some point and you know it's sharp and others and then blurry um, you know, so this is, it's it's focused on the in the middle part of the depth here. Um, I like what they did. It's kind of a nice contained background. And I'm gonna come and stick this parrot's head in place of the crab's thing. So I'm gonna maybe have some of this the, this crab shell stick out, and then I'm gonna come in here and have this parrot in here. Um, I probably should have done search for a few more crabs. Maybe I could play you know with having a little bit of you know the, the crab material on the parrot's head as I got farther. Uh, maybe the, the you know like kind of like a turtle where it comes out. I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of doing this kind of on the spot, on the fly, and seeing what what becomes of it. So, when you are doing things like this, especially if you, in my case, like I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, I do recommend non-destructive editing as much as possible. In previous videos, I showed you guys um, how to use layer masks to make these 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 layers non-destructive. You can be destructive, and what that that's just a term where I say you come in here, use the eraser tool, start erasing. That's destructive. You can't get back to it unless you have undoes to get back to it. And that's fine. Technically, that, there's nothing wrong with that. But you run the risk, again, of not being able to back up. If you use a layer mask, you have the ability to back up even after you've closed and opened the file again. So if I select this parrot and come up to uh, Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All, again, it's going to show create a layer mask that's going to show all the, the, the parrot by default. And anywhere I paint with the brush tool black, so I'm going to switch to the brush tool, B key, Bravo key. And anywhere I paint black on this layer mask layer on the right hand side here, it's going to erase. It's going to act as a race. And opacity is, 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 is considered in this. Again, so 100% will be a full, um, full, full removal. And, and uh, anything in between will, will scale. So I'm just scaling up my brush. I'm using a brush tool and a tablet here and I'm going in here and I'm just doing real rough because the beauty about this is because this is 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 something where I can just be real rough with this I can come back and just paint what back what I want as I need so I'm just kinda coming in here and yes this is a black and white image I have a plan to um, bring some color into this I just you know I really liked this particular picture of this particular this uh, parrot here so pretty clean edge here um, we could have explored other tools, just selection tools and things as well. They all work with layer masks, thankfully. But I mean, in my case, I find it easier just to do this, just grabbing the brush and just layer mask painting this out in this case, because this was really, in my case, very uh, straightforward um, image here. So there we go. And I'll come back and get the rest here in a little bit. Like I said, I'm just trying to rough this in. I'm not going to spend too much time. And I'm going to move this over here. You can see there's a little bit more. I'm using the Bravo key again, B key. I'm going to get that in there. All right. And this is too big. Obviously, it's too big. This is a too big of a parrot head. So I'm going to hit Control T. Um, and I'm going to scale, grab a corner, and scale this down. So I'm left clicking and holding. Um, sometimes you have to hold down Shift. I forget which one's which with the new versions of Photoshop. But if it's not deforming, if you if it's not 
uniform and you want it to be uniform, pull down shift. Um, but some operations in, in Photoshop are, and I don't know, honestly, it's one of the changes I don't really care for in Photoshop, where some sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. It used to be always. So I'm going to stick this head in here. Again, you can control T to, to rotate this. All you, you know, control T, grab, hover outside one of the corners, and then it, you'll get a different arrow, and you can click and hold this. So I have this bird thing here. And it looks a little weird, but I like it. I like it for right now. Um, I tend to make copies of things as I go because I'm going to get more, more. I should have did this even before I scaled it down, but oh well. Again, to make copies of things, you hold on Alt and drag on a layer. Um, that's one of many ways to make a copy. That's the way I personally like to make copies. So if you hold on Alt and you drag a layer, you make a copy of the layer. I'm just having this for backup. I'm going to hide this. Um, just in case I botch this completely, and that has been known to happen, and then you, you, it's going to happen to you. So I advise that you make backups of things. Again, I'll come back in here and just mess with my my uh, my layer mask some more. Make sure you're on the right layer. It's actually a painting on the background. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my layer mask, and I'm going to start painting this, but I'm going to paint this at a low opacity. So I'm going to feather this and see if this helps. So I'm going to do like a hit the one key on my keyboard for 10% opacity. Or you can come up here and just drag the slider here. But I'm going to go ahead and um, just hit the one key on my keyboard. And I'm going to feather my selection again with br um, shift bracket. So shift bra left bracket will feather your selection more. Shift right bracket will tighten up that selection. So you can see I'm doing that. So with a very small, um, small low opacity and a very feathered brush, and generally very big brushes, you can easily come in here and start... Uh, working this gradually and I'm what I'm working is the area that I'm going to overlap into the this this crab shell here to see if I, I want to do this the way like this and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna constantly be going back and forth by uh, merging some of this I'm sorry not merging uh, uh, transforming some of this to kind of see what I'm, I can do with this and then coming back and, 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 and brushing your way in or back some again if you want to bring stuff back because this is not destructive just swap your color to white and it'll bring it back. Again, I'm on white now. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the opacity a little bit to 50%. And I'm going to bring in this, this part right here where it doesn't meet the crab shell. And I think I might scale this down a little bit more. So again, transform key. Oops. Uh, if you ever want to move something, the V key, the Victor key, or this first tool up here, this is the move tool. I'm kind of getting that. I like his eyes. I might come get, get that, those eyes too the crab which I'll do later all right and I'm kind of just kind of getting this tweaked in here on um, the way I want and you know um, you're gonna have to basically like I said kind of explore the different kinds of tools I'm gonna rough up this edge a bit let's go to 100% why not and then um, use the, your brush tool um, again because I'm using a tablet I have the pen settings to my advantage you might not have that um, you can do this with the mouse. It's just more work, um, but you can do it. But you can see I'm kind of coming in here using the mouse, um, the the tablet's uh, brush settings, which is found with the F5 key. I'm using the shape. So basically, the harder I press, the the narrower the, the skits. Unfortunately, you you can fake this with the mouse, but it's not even worth your time, in my opinion. Um, you can kind of set it, and I just, I've never had good results. So unfortunately, you would have to just constantly change the size of the brush using the bracket keys. Um, but if, again, if you have a, a tablet, you can you can set the shape dynamics and oops, uh, and that will help a lot. I think in in um, getting those in my case the feathers here roughed out. So you can see I'm kind of coming in here. I accidentally hit a brush of some kind. Let me change that back. There we go. All right. So I, I kind of doing this part up here. Um, I definitely need more work here on this part, but let's get some color in here first before I, I go any further. I think this is this is a good start right here. This parrot crab going. Uh, let's do a little bit more on the mask before I go any further with this. Start going down the the rabbit hole with the color and other things. Um, I don't know if it's going to be good here, but another thing you can explore. I'm going to make a copy, another copy, just because I kind of like what I see here, but just to showcase this, make another copy. I'm going to turn that off. Um, another thing you can also do with uh, uh, Control T, if you hit Control T, 
Um, again, this will allow you to scale things up and down, rotate, but if you click on it um, here, you can get a warp function. So I just, just left clicked on it, and you can click on warp. And this, when you click on that, you have other ways of distorting the image. We believe we use this on our, our, our unicorn, but sometimes it's, it's good in here to come in here and maybe warp the image some um, if you need to. Like, for example, I don't know if that's better uh, or worse. I kind of like the way it was before, but that's why I saved a copy of it. But this is very valuable for you if you need ever need anything. You know, and who knows, maybe I will, maybe I'll do something else with this, this, this thing. Maybe I'll come in and add, you know, like I had this picture of a cat mouth. Maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and add that cat mouth into it too, or something like that. I don't know. So you can see that's what it looked like after the warp, before the warp, after the warp, before the warp. And sure, why not? We'll keep the warp. I'm going to keep this image as backups. I like to keep backups. Again, I'm just going to control G. And what I generally do is I keep these backups until I'm satisfied with the, the work in general. Then I just throw this 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 out, or I save it with the PSD. But just yeah, it does add file size. So just keep backups as you go. It's really up to you. Um, I definitely recommend them while you work for sure. Um, at some point, you're like I'm not going to go back that far ever. Uh, feel free to delete those layers, but you know keep them for a while. So I downloaded this particular image um, for the colors, and it was you know generally a head here. So I'm just gonna flip this to match again. Control T, uh, then you can left click on this and go flip horizontal, and then you can see you can flip it. Um, you can also come in here and grab these corners and actually drag it to the other side. It will technically flip that way, but um, it's it's never a perfect flip most of the time. But tend to Control T, click, flip horizontal and return. So I flip this thing horizontal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the layer below this as a clipping mask. Um, we talked about these are my two favorite things is, you know, like I said, layer mask and clipping mask. Um, what you can do with the clipping uh, layer mask is you position a layer above the one that you want to be the clipping mask. So if I want this layer to be a, map, be a mask for this layer, I can hold down Alt between these two layers and hold, and you'll see the icon change slightly here. It's a little arrow pointing down with the box. This is a, a, a clipping mask here. And now this this bird here is only affecting the layer beneath it. It's the only layer it's affecting. And you can see my thing's way too big. And what I'm really looking for is just the kind of the color of this stuff. This bird, I'm not really interested in preserving the details here, I just want the colors. Because my plan here is to come in here and use these colors on the layer beneath it. So I'm going to set this layer to color all the way near the bottom. And you can see I've added some color into here, Control plus to zoom in, um, colors from that other bird. Because I, the image I, I liked was black and white. Um, so I, I can't use that one, you know, obviously, and make it merge. So I have I use this color one here, or you can just paint colors on this layer, and if you wanted to, and I might come in and you know paint some because I don't like the this right here, or I might come in like I said get some of these crab parts and move them around um, to do that. But this is a great starting point, at least that may, way better than being grayscale in my opinion. Um, of course, this is really light here, so I might have to do something there, um, but I'll worry about that in a, uh, here in a minute. In fact, I'll worry about that now. Um, what we can do, we can, and this is why, like I said, we start getting down the rabbit hole. There's a lot of ways we can tackle this. Um, how I'm going to tackle this, and since I've made so many copies of this, I'm going to go ahead and start doing some what I call destructive editing. And I turned off the color. And again, the reason you kind of understand, we got to understand what's going on here. This layer is dropping down color of this, but if there's no value, I eat, you know, the value, if it's all white here, it can't drop any color down because this is all white. So it's going to, it, it can't colorize this because it's not a gray tone or a darker tone. So we need to darken this in some way if we want to get these colors to drop. Granted, it, the, this particular bird, I'm just dragging, making a copy from my own reference here. Make a copy out of this and switching it to normal so I can see. Um, if it has white in this particular one, obviously it would be white below. But, you know, I don't think that's anywhere positioned near it. See, it's, over, it's way over here. Um, we should get getting more of these blues in that particular area, and we're not. Um, you can kind of see them. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and darken 
the gray in here to get to hopefully pull out some more of this color. I know it sounds a little backwards, but this is why it pays to understand how the layers work and what these layer how how this layer is 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 dropping the information. Again, it, it can't add brightness or, or or value. It just tends the color. So if I want to get some of that color, I need to to the source layer needs to be have that value. Um, so again, how can I do this? Well, there's a lot of ways. I've talked about brightness, contrast, and stuff on that in previous videos. You could do that. You could totally come in here and make a lasso selection on, you know, this particular area. And maybe I would suggest always feathering. If you do selections like this, I always recommend feathering them. Uh, Shift F6 is the quickie for that. Or you can go up to Select, um, Modify, Feather. And... Again, the size of the feather is always going to be dependent on the image. I'm just going to start at 20. That looks pretty good. And then after that, you can go up to your adjustments, all your various adjustments that we've talked about in the past, like shadows and highlights might be a good one for this one. And then we're actually going to want to mess with the highlights. See, look at that. It's pulling out all, the, the, all those values there. Um, that's, a, that's a great one right here because I want those tones to get recognized. I don't really need the shadows in this case, but I'm trying to get those highlights, those tones in there. And if we turn on the color now, you can see it's going in there a little bit more. You know, but that's a, that's a great start. The other thing you can try, control D, I control D to deselect, is you can also use the, the burn tool. The burn tool um, is right here. Uh, I don't, yeah, it, has a, it does have a clicky O. Um, here, it's right here. Uh, the, the burn tool, what this does is it's very extreme so first thing I would recommend is watch your exposure I didn't actually turn this way down but what it's gonna do is it's going to try to target a certain range of, of value and it's gonna try to darken them so it's kind of like a brush but it tends to um, target um, certain ranges of color I think my, my, my burn tool is way too big there we go all right so I shrunk down the burn tool and right now it's targeting the highlights, which is actually probably what I want. That are the midtones. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'll go ahead and leave it at 10 exposure um, for right now. And then I'll go ahead and gently trace over this. And it's going to burn into here as well. And it's, you can kind of see it's gonna, it's 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 getting a little bit darker in some areas. Um, if there's no value there, it doesn't look quite as good, which in this case isn't that good looking. But it probably will be fine when I do the color over. So there we go. It's, it's coming along. Uh, this this red right here is from the eyeball, but I don't mind it, so I'm going to leave it. So you can see what we kind of did before and after. Tried the burn tool. We did definitely got a good re, uh, good results with the the, the hue saturate. Uh, not sorry, the shadows and highlights. And we had something like, uh, do we have enough to go above? Uh, oh. Trying to find a before and after. So there's a before. I'm using the history palette to show this, and an after. So an after. So it's a lot darker, but that's okay. I do like that overall more. All right, so we got that bird there. Okay, so other things I'm going to do. For, well, first off, I'm going to go ahead and copy this crab and pull this up. My crew's a little on the slow side for some reason. Again, I alt dragged that. I'm going to hide this reference layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to. You know what? I just because I couldn't see, I'm just gonna copy just this part. I just drew a lasso tool, the L key, and invert it, control shift I, and delete the rest. So I have this piece right here. There's some extras around there, that's not a big deal. I'm just trying to use it to see. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use this as a clipping mask. And I'm gonna go ahead and layer these colors as well. Um, and if that you know that doesn't quite work, which it didn't. Uh, you can also try overlay. Overlay allows you to add colors. Now, if you still don't like that, that's fine. I don't think this particularly worked. It does add a little bit of value, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back to normal. And I'm going to go ahead and actually literally, I'm going to release the clip. Um, to release the clip is hold down Alt and click between the layers again. So you add it the same way you take it away. See, both the same. I'm erasing this stuff around the edges, just using the eraser. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a straight up uh, paint on here. I'm going to zoom in here quite a bit. And the first thing is first, I want this eye because I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to copy, paste that, 
that over here. So I'm making lots of layers here. And I'm going to go ahead and get a little more strategic with my lasso here. Take that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this eye because I, I don't want this one here. And I'm just being very loose with this cut right now. And, and I'm being destructive. You can see, I, like I said, I'm, I tend to, I've been gotten used to being destructive with my edits here. All right, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. There's unfortunately some pixels on the on the outside. This can, can be annoying if you see that. Unfortunately, there's a lot of different ways of getting this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in here, marquee, get rid of those, kind of find. See, there's the other ones. I'm going to get rid of these, and then I'm going to come up here. And it's good to see these mistakes being made, so you know how to clean them up on your own. Control T. There's still some over here somewhere. So M. Because remember, the transform will always do a bound of all the pixels. There we go. So I now got rid of all those. So I th what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to take this um, here. And I'm going to go ahead and flip it horizontally and, and vertically, it looks like. And no, I didn't want the horizontal, just the vertical. There we go. Yep. And then I'm going to place this underneath, something like here. Control T. I'm just going to kind of warp this the way I want. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I think erase some of this, uh, this, this stuff back. And I think I'm going to use a layer mask for this part, non-destructive. So I'm going to go ahead and go to layers, layer mask, reveal all. I'm going to use the brush tool at a low opacity. I'm going to fade this in 20%. I'm going, to, I'm going to leave the bottom edge kind of more firm. So I'm not going to mess with that one too much. Almost again, like I, I have this idea of like a turtle, you know. So I'm going to fade it down here, I think, and in the back part. Then I'm going to go take another pass at getting this quote unquote shell. Oops. You know where I want it to be, so maybe something like right, right there. And I'm gonna, oops, brush tool, fade this a little bit more right here, and then I don't think I'll do the top. I mean, but it would probably make sense to do the top, but just you know, I'm gonna leave it on the bottom. Warping it again, just to try some things. And the other thing I kept was the eye. This might be really, really creepy, but you know, gotta, gotta try it. Make sure you're on the right layer. When something doesn't work, generally the, the biggest culprit is you're not on the right layer. <laughs> that is very creepy, actually. I don't know if I like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this. And I'm just using, I'm back down to 20%, near what I'm doing, but it's a lot of the same thing. I'm just using brushes, very low opacity, 0, 1 for 1%, and I'm literally going to paint. That's kind of creepy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is a little creepy on the creepy side, but okay. Um... Okay, so I'm done with this one. I don't know how I feel about the eye. Well, actually, you know what? Bring this one back just in case. I want to use its eye. Yeah, I'm going to keep its eye. This one's eye, too. And I'm just going to put this one at normal. Let's try both. You know what? Let's try. Let's take all this just in case. So I'm, gonna, I'm selecting this whole section here. Control C, Control V. I'm going to turn off my. A lot of layer management when you start doing projects like this. Turn off my crab eye here. I have this piece. And I'm going to go ahead and scale this down a little bit. See, I'm going to kind of use this not on color overlay. That way I can get a little more true setting. Uh, one thing you can do is just turn down, straight up, turn down the layer opacity on the right-hand side. Just I'm, I'm, The only reason I'm turning this down is so I can kind of gauge where it's at. It definitely has a different kinds of eye than the other bird, but I can definitely position it. 
then turn the opacity back up and then come back in here and you could again once again use um, a layer mask again for the sake of speed I'm just straight up being more destructive I'm just straight up erasing with a very low opacity brush don't like what's going on here so I'm going to tone that down quite a bit more so there we go I'm trying to decide what I like more bring this eye up I like I think I like the actual parrot eye I think I'm going to leave that alone okay but I tried that's the important thing alright so I got this parrot here uh, this parrot crab going here um, I honestly want to do more with this I'm not you know but I think this is a pretty good example of a, you know an animal morph uh, just some sort of parrot crab um, again the goal here is to try to merge the images in a way that it could be so, so quote unquote believable not in the sense that we'd actually believe a creature like that existed just doesn't look like a collage cut and paste kind of thing like you doesn't look like you cut it out of you know magazine clippings and then you know taped it all together it look, you know you want to try to blend it together more and and kind of sell this creature even if it's absurd like this particular paragraph um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that there'll be definitely some more videos because there's all different kinds of techniques um, but give those a shot try something uh, and uh, make some interesting weird animal uh, all right have fun